So this is a practice problem for normals and tangent of curves. So y is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Find the normal and tangent at points 1, 2. So the first step guys is to find y prime because y prime is the slope of your tangent line. So yung normal line is perpendicular siya dito sa tangent line. So if the slope of your tangent line is y prime, okay? The slope of your normal line, yung slope nito, the slope of this normal line is the negative reciprocal. So that is negative 1 over y prime. So we need to find y prime at point 1, 2. So y prime is equal to, we have here 3 times 2x minus 2. So this is equal to 6x minus 2. So substitute this value here. 1, 2. So, that's just x value. So, y prime is equal to 6x minus 2. If x is 1 here, so we have here 6 times 1 minus 2. So, that is 4. So, therefore, the slope of your tangent line is equal to 4. So, the negative reciprocal of that slope. So, the slope of your normal line is the negative reciprocal of your tangent line. So, that is negative 1. Fourth. So based on this, we can construct the equation of the line. Since may point tayo, you have the points 1 and 2. So you can use the point slope form. Okay, so the slope is equal to y minus y1. That is the given uh, intercept. So we have here x minus x sub 1 is your rise over run. So using this concept, we can say that y minus y1 is just equal to m times x minus x sub 1 quantity. So for your tangent line, so y minus, yung point natin sa y is 2, so that is 2 here. So m natin for the tangent line is 4. Then x minus, yung x value natin, that is 1. So this is the equation of your tangent line. So the equation of your normal line, so that is y minus 2 pa rin. 2 pa rin yung intercept niya. Sa y, we have here yung slope niya. Mag-iiba na. That is negative 1 fourth. So, x minus 1 pa rin. So, 1 yung point natin. So, this is the normal line. So, this is your tangent line. So, simplify lang natin. So, y minus 2 for your tangent line, that is equal to 4x minus 4. Or, that is just equal to 4x minus y is equal to, you have this as negative 2 plus 4. Or, 4x minus y is equal to 2. So, that is your tangent line. So, this is your tangent line. I-simplify lang natin yung second equation. So, that is y minus 2. Quantity, you have here, is equal to negative 1 fourth times the quantity x minus 1. So, multiply 4 to both sides. This becomes 4 times y minus 2 is equal to negative here x minus 1. So, tanggalin natin yung parenthesis. So, ma-distribute yung negative niya. So, this is negative x plus 1. So, negative times negative is positive. Then, simplify natin. So, this becomes 4y minus 8 equals negative x plus 1. So, you have this as x plus 4y is equal to 1 plus 8. So, this is just equal to x plus 4y is equal to 9. So, this is your normal line. So, yung mga concept natin dito guys are calculus of course, analytic geometry, and algebra. So, to further understand the concept, pwede natin siyang i-plot. Okay? Plot natin yung parabola. Then, we find those line. So, in plotting the parabola, you can use your maxima and minima. So, we have here equation ng line natin, y is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. So, to find the vertex, so yung vertex natin is either the maxima or minima. So, in this case, y is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Yung naka-square natin, if you recall the analytic geometry, yung naka-square dito is yung x. Therefore, the vertex or the concavity of this parabola must face the x-axis. Okay? 
So therefore, if x squared is positive, this is concaving upward. So we can find those vertex using the concept of maxima minima because the slope of your tangent line doon sa maxima niya is 0. So y prime is equal to 6x minus 2. Okay, if you let y prime as 0, we can find the vertex. y prime is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 6x minus 2. So 6x is equal to 2. Divide both sides by 6. So x is equal to 2 6 or in lowest term natin, x is equal to 1 third. Okay? So yun yung intercept niya in the x-axis. Okay, so in order to find y, just substitute this value dito sa x natin sa equation of the parabola. So y is equal to 3 times x natin is 1 third. So this is squared minus 2 times 1 third plus 1. Okay, so y is equal to 3 times 1 ninth minus 2 thirds plus 1. So this becomes 3 ninths minus 2 thirds plus 1. So equals. So this is 1 third minus 2 thirds plus 1. Let's perform the uh, fraction. So equivalent nya is so ito negative 1 third okay plus 1 or you have here 1 minus 1 third therefore uh, 1 minus 1 third that is 2 thirds so y is 2 thirds so nandito siya sa first quadrant so i-graph natin yung vertex so this is this is 1 third here say so this is 2 thirds so this point here is the vertex of this parabola. So this is concaving upward. So this point here, which is the, in this case, this is your minima. So this point is one third, two third. So we can uh, use this concept, itong graphical method, to interpret your normal and tangent. Unahin muna natin yung tangent line. So that is at point 1, 2. Let's say ito, itong point na to, this, this point can express as, let's say dito yung 1, 2. That tangent line is somewhere here. Okay, nakatangent siya dyan that touches the line. I mean the point. This tangent line touches that point 1, 2 here. So yun na yung equation natin which is 4x minus y equals 2. So as you can see here, yung ating slope is positive. Therefore, it is going to the right. Now, yung ating normal line is perpendicular to this tangent line. So papunta doon yung normal line. So this is perpendicular 90 degrees. Ito na yung normal line. Ito yung tangent. This is tangent line. This is your normal line. Ang equation niya, as we have found before dito sa ano natin, sa process Okay, process of finding the normals and tangent, this equation is x plus 4y equals 9. So in order to further understand this concept, you must know the graph of the curve. Then using the graph of the curve, you can verify if your equations of the lines are correct.